One, two, three, go. Hey, Ron here today uh, with the uh, DJI uh, Mini 5 Pro. And we're just going to do a little Q&A here. A lot of people have questions. The drones still kind of new, still kind of hard to get in the U.S. Um, that's a whole other story. But uh, one of the questions is, will the um, Mini 5 Pro work with a new uh, DJI, DJI RC2 controller? Sorry, I have to hang around my neck here. It's hard to show it to you. I had it upside down. Uh, this is the, uh, the smart controller that came out around the same time the uh, Mavic 4 Pro did. And, uh, you know, at that time, you know, it worked with the um, Mavic 4 Pro, of course, the Mini 4 Pro, and the uh, DJI Air 3S, and I believe the Air 3 also. And uh, a lot of people asked whether it worked with the Mini 5 Pro, and it will. Now, uh, when I first booted it up, uh, it, would, it would not work because it needed uh, the latest firmware update. So make sure you have the RC2 updated to the latest firmware. And at that point, it will work with the... Um, DJI Mini 5 Pro, and to prove that, we're gonna to fly today with this uh, combination of devices here. And another question we're gonna answer in this video today is a lot of people uh, wanna know, it, this drone has a medium tele mode, where you know it uh, punches in two times and it supposedly kind of losses. It doesn't look like just the plain digital zoom that we had in the Mini 4 Pro, that it looks you know closer to an optical zoom here. We'll test that out a little bit, you know, that. Leave that up to your judgment here. I haven't really used enough to tell you one way or the other if, the, if it's much improved over the Mini 4 Pros. A 2X, uh, you know, uh, just kind of, you know, crop in digital zoom or not. But uh, here's what a lot of people want to know is whether you can switch from the, uh, the 1X to the 2X without stopping recording and restarting again. That's always a big uh, issue uh, on these drones where you're, you know, either digitally zooming in or uh, you're even on drones like the Mavic 4 Pro, Mavic 3 Pro, you have three different cameras where you have to stop and start recording to use that zoom function. So we're going to try that out today too. So a couple things, you know, we're going to work out today and, uh, you know, hopefully this video will, you know, settle some stuff for you. So, okay, but no further ado, let's get this little bird in the air here today. Um, we're, we're down here. It's a beautiful uh, fall day here down at the Jersey Shore. I do have a bit of a breeze going, so this will test this little drone to see how it handles the shore breeze. I mean, that's the that's the reason why uh, maybe you don't want to get this and get a bigger drone like the Air 3S, which it certainly has like the same camera and many of the same features is because a bigger drone like that handles a gusty shore winds better. And not that these main drones, like the Mini 4, it could, you know, I never saw it get, you know, like blown away or in danger of losing the high winds, but it just moved real slow and sluggish if you're trying to move against the wind where the bigger drones like the Air 3S and Mavic 4, Mavic 3 series they cut through the wind. Most times you don't even know that there's a wind gust, but the but the previous minutes you did. So let's see how this does in that too. So, okay, with no further ado, as they say in these videos, let's get this bird up in the air. Here we go, while we're waiting for everything to boot up here, um, I, you know, I could have put some ND filters today, but I haven't even fooled around with those ND filters yet. People say they're a little fidgety to get on here. I've, I mean, I have them, I've looked at them, but I haven't even tried to put them in the drone yet. There's a controller booting up yet. So. That's not going to happen today, but will happen in a future video here. We're not we're not worried about motion blur today, anyways. So um, yeah, uh, looks like we got enough salad to take off here. Um, so uh, yeah, back to the uh, back to the video. Take off. Home point updated. Okay, we got the little uh, you know the little mini drone in the air here. Let's get it uh, a little bit close to me here. It's bouncing around this wind. I told you about the wind. Okay, so you can clearly see that I'm using the DJI RC2 um, controller there. So it does work with the Mini 5 Pro confirmed. Just got to get the latest uh, firmware update. So, okay. And I'm doing screen recording here too. So you're in the opposite of wooden because uh, I'm standing here. Let me, you know, I, sorry. I should have been recording all that here. Uh, I do have it in screen recording. But okay, now we established this. Let's go up and see what, what uh, we could figure out on this medium tele lens. So I'm gonna go, uh, you know, up, up and out of here. Okay, should stop that beeping now since, uh, uh, of course, as soon as I get up here, I hear a plane. And one of the other things about this drone people talk about is the lack of um, uh, AD, ADSB. 
I think I said that right. And what that is, that's a, that's a little uh, piece of uh, hardware software. It does require a chip in the drone that warns you of aircrafts nearby. And uh, I mistakenly said on Drone Nation, I thought the Mini 4 Pro had a ADSB, but uh, I, I was incorrect. Uh, none of the DJI Mini uh, series drones have had uh, ADSB. You have to keep saying that. So I do have a correction on that. So uh, this drone does not have it. So you got to be extra careful when you're out here, you know, and you may have, you know, air, air, airplanes in the air, airplanes, helicopters in your area. So, okay. Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Okay. Now, uh, we're, we are recording. You can see that on the left here. And I see, you know, people in the middle of the beach here. I'm not spying on anybody in particular here. But, uh, okay, we're going to go to the 2X. Uh, on the, on the, again, on the right-hand side, you see I'm recording with that red button. It's 132 right now. And I, I'm in 1X. I'm going to go to the 2X here. We're going to check the quality. I am, you know, recording uh, down below. Kind of everything's on Dr. Auto 4K60. And we're going to go to 2x without stopping the video. And we did look. We punched into the medium 2x. I'm going to raise the gimbal a little bit here. And we we did not stop the video at all. So I know that's going to be good news for a lot of folks, uh, you know, out there that uh, you know uh, really value <laughs> continuous video here. I guess I'll call it here. So yeah. So I'm glad I could check that out for you people, you good folks here. And uh, yeah, so and let's see if we can zoom in even on the 2X and check the quality of the 2X here. Does it look like it's a digital crop or does it look a little stronger? You know, I, I guess it is a digital crop still, but does it look a little bit better than you're used to? Uh, you know, hitting the 2X on the other mini drones and I'm going to, okay, here I'm, now I'm, now I'm, you know, I zoomed in all the way to three. So I don't know if three is still the mid telly or, uh, you know, that's, whether that degraded or not on my screen, I cannot see the difference. Uh, when you get home, we'll look at the computer, and you guys can look at it. Your, your computers are probably not going to notice any difference. On uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to go down two, two and a half. There's two points. There. You're not going to notice probably any difference on your phones, your tablets, or whatever. You know, maybe even your smaller laptop screens. But you know, on your your desktop monitors, your 4K desktop monitors, your 65 inch HDR TVs. Uh, 75 inch, whatever, however big you go, you're probably, will be able to tell the difference. So, okay, let me go down. Okay, now I'm down, to, what's, can I go lower than two? Yeah, now I'm back in the ones again. Okay, now I'm all right. Okay, let's stop at 1.5. Uh, I don't, how, how does that look as far as any loss of quality? That you look at it for a second, then I'll go all the way down to one, which should be the full, um, you know, quality range. So let's try that. Okay, now we're down to 1x, 1x there. So, okay. Well, that's a little, um, you know, that's a little inside baseball here uh, on some of the uh, things that people have been asking about. So, uh, yeah, just a short little video today. Um, you know, let me get in front of the camera here. You know, short little video today, you know, trying to figure, figure stuff out for you folks. You know, news you could use, um, you know. So you don't have to figure this stuff out on your own. Uh, yeah, we're going to be a whole lot of content coming on the uh, Mini 5 Pro. You know, popular. It's getting to be a popular drone. A lot of people are ordering from sources such as South Korea, you know, uh, Japan and China, and getting them in, you know, pretty uh, quickly and re reliably from, you know, sellers on eBay. So that's the good thing here, right? So uh, yeah, let's let's wrap this up. I'm Ron from Ron Brown's YouTube channel. We do a lot of drone content, but we also do a lot of tech gear in general, camera gear in general, action cameras, pocket cameras, things like that. So, uh, yeah, you know, please uh, give the video a thumbs up if you got anything out of it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already a member. Hit that bell so you'll know when I put up more content like this. And, uh, and I won't say goodbye here. I'm going to link another video up top that I think you folks may be interested in seeing. So um, I'll see you at that next video, folks. Hey, Ron back here. Um, if you want to see the, um, you know, the video that I recorded straight off the memory card, uh, so you can check the quality, especially in the zooms. Here it is here. I'm just tossing it here at the end. No, no audio or anything at this point. You've already heard the audio once. So again, this is um, straight off the memory card. I was in H HLG settings, which is kind of high definition. And um, 
everything else is auto and no editing done in, in, in post-processing here, just straight off the memory card, but it was recording in HLG at 4K 60. I find it HLG works um, nice when you're near sunset or whatever. It, uh, again, it's like an HDR thing, but you don't have to actually, you can, but you don't actually have to do any HDR editing in, in post-processing here. So this can stay tuned here. You're going to see how good the, uh, the zooms are uh, when I zoom in on the people sitting at the beach together from basically from the 1X camera to the 2X mid telly, which is a new feature that they introduced with the um, DJI Mini 5 Pro. And uh, the promise of the mid telly is that it just won't be a straight crop in the sensor like before with the previous mini drone, the Mini 4 Pro, where again, it's a straight crop on the sensor. Uh, and uh, you need to see a little loss in quality where this uh, promises, you know, uh, it doesn't promise no loss in quality. This promises, you know, um, it's going to look closer to a optical zoom than a digital zoom. So you be the judge of yourself when it happens here. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now here and uh, I'm not even going to throw any music in at the end here. Uh, you know, this is just for anybody inside baseball who wanted to see this. All right. Thanks again for watching.